Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Today we are doing a tour of the house plant alleyway. And I'm gonna show you guys all the house plants that I have outside because there's some that aren't over here um, that are other places, but I wanna share them with you because the season is changing. It is mid-September or yeah, almost mid-September and our frost date is next month. So it's gonna be time for me to start getting these plants ready to come inside. And I realized that I have not like shared like exactly what I have out here. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start right here at the beginning with the first house plant in line. So right here is a Monstera tetrasperma and it's actually planted with a Monstera delici deliciosa. So we've got this plant and this plant in the same pot. Now, I thought that these two would thrive um, in the garden being moved out here and they kind of, they're okay, but they're not, they're not overperforming in any way. I haven't seen very much growth in the way of new leaves. Um, they're just kind of sitting, you know, they're just kind of um, stagnant and I mean, that's fine. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these two just yet. This next plant, I pretty much forgot it was out here. So let me pull this guy out. So this one, I'm not quite sure what it is. I I, I don't think it's an aglonema. It was mislabeled at the store that I got it from. It, it was labeled as a Piper Crocatum, which it's not. Um, but I thought this was also going to thrive in the garden. And it really... it. <laughs> It really hasn't. It's just kind of have has been looking like this this whole time. So this this is also a I don't know what's going to happen with this plant here. Next up is my mounted staghorn fern and this plant actually is looking really good. It was struggling indoors. And I'm not exactly sure why. I think it might have been a watering issue. Um, usually when I say watering issue, that is me. <laughs> That's not watering properly. Um, but since being outside, it's got some new growth. Um, I see new growth here. And as far as bringing this indoors, typically I will repot plants, but this guy is mounted. Um, I'm sure there's some bugs living in there. So I have to, I'm gonna have to come up with something. Either I'll like take him apart and remount him on, you know, back on his wood just to make sure there's no bugs over, you know, trying to overwinter in there. Um, but I'm excited about this guy. He's looking real good. Hi, mommy's trying to film. So can you guys please be a little quieter? Huh? Please? real quick I'll, I'll be real fast and then you can scream again so next up is my alocasia of unknown variety it is doing so well it was not put in the alleyway for any issues it just looked really good here so it's been putting out some really huge leaves the last few weeks we've got this ginormous one and then this ginormous leaf, and I apologize, this is a really tight space here. So it is difficult for me to try and film and like squeeze between the plants. So I apologize if, if everything seems so big and up close. There's a new leaf right there that is looking amazing. So this plant actually has two plants in the pot, or actually maybe three. So you've got the main stem there that's really big. And then you've got these two other offsets here and there that are producing foliage in this pot. And it's amazing. Now 
Next up is a Schefflera. I think that's how you pronounce it, or an umbrella tree. This one has a lighter foliage. It's almost, I think it's like a neon, um, might be a neon in the name somewhere. I've had this for several years and it was showing a pest issue in the house. So I moved it outside and you know, the leaves started to brighten up. Um, typically in my house, it's, it's a little bit shadier. Um, so anything that's bright, has bright colored leaves, usually um, darken just because they don't, they're not getting that bright light. But this plant looks amazing. Definitely coming back inside. It's, move Monstera leaf. It's got some new leaves right there, a new leaf coming that looks amazing. Next up is a single Monstera in a pot. I don't know if this guy's coming in. He's he's more on the end of the spectrum of not coming in. Um, I'm just not really happy with it. I don't really want to put the energy or time into it. So this guy I might actually offer up free um, on either Facebook Marketplace or the Nextdoor app. Right here is another mounted staghorn, and this one, it's just not doing great. I don't know if I'll be bringing this dude in the house. I'm just not really impressed with it. Um, again, not bringing me joy, not super happy, not growing well. It's like one of those plants, like they're, it's not dead, but it's not thriving. Right here is my Philodendron Prince of Orange looking absolutely stunning. This plant I will be keeping, however, I'm gonna be chopping it. I'll probably cut it right about here and then reroot it and pot it up as a brand new plant. Hold on. What are we screaming about this morning? Huh? Goodness gracious. So I'll be chopping and propping this guy. He is, he is so tall and long that it's very difficult to keep him upright in the house. And I just can't um, manage it anymore. I need him to be smaller. So definitely gonna chop him. Um, he's grown a lot since I moved him outside. So I definitely will eventually pull him out and see how tall he got and then go ahead and do the chopping. So behind my Prince of Orange, Oh my gosh, my chickens are so loud, I apologize. I have a fiddle head philodendron. You can see the leaves right here. This plant is doing super good. It's hard to share because my um, Prince of Orange is just everywhere, but this plant was producing aerial roots, um, growing so well. Let me see if I can get a better shot of the foliage. Probably right here is the best I'm gonna get with this um, Prince of Orange, but it's gorgeous. It was struggling inside, uh, very slow growth, um, very unhappy. As soon as I moved it outside, you guys, I mean, he woke up so fast and started producing. Let me see. Yeah, it's so hard to see just because there, it's this, this guy here, he's just so big. He's just everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. My variegated rubber tree is out here. And then my other uh, ficus is out here. What is that one called? I can't remember, but they're doing pretty good. Um, everything usually tends to thrive when you move it outside, usually. So these two are doing really, really well. I'll put the name of this one on the screen because I can't quite remember what she's called. Mm -hmm. 
Next up is my Sissus Discolor. This is a vine and I brought it outside to see like what would happen with it, like how it would grow. And it pretty much just took off. It's been climbing up this lattice. Like this is the top of it right here and it's gone through the other side to climb over there. I believe right now I'm telling myself I'm gonna take cuttings and try and root those and then potentially bring this plant inside but there's there's no way that I'll be able to get this all down and because the pot is is over here down on the ground I can't even I can't even show you right there like it's that's its arbor right there that black thing that's where the pot is down there and there's no way I'm going to be able to get all this down without damaging it in some way so I really really like it I want to keep this plant um, going so definitely gonna take cut this down take cuttings um, grow new ones and then um, try and save the mother plant as well so in this container I have a philodendron micans and the reason I moved this out is because it was struggling not growing very well not not doing a whole lot you know just kind of looked kind of dormant stagnant moved it out it's vining up here it's got new growth and it's climbing and looking so good so i'll definitely try to bring this guy back inside and hope that it will still continue to grow well for me right here is my hoya australis lisa and i moved her out because she just was not happy inside kept dropping leaves and now look at her she's got new growth she's doing well no complaints out of her so i will definitely try to bring this plant back inside this fall right here is my string of turtles i moved this outside just to see if i can get some thicker growth on top um i honestly think it's been a little bit too moist for this plant out here um, not that we've gotten an abundance of rain but just um, more moisture than this plant like typically enjoys this plant likes to dry out between waterings because it has these um, succulent like leaves that store moisture for it so allowing this plant to dry out is beneficial for <laughs> its survival um, but it's doing okay. We've got lots of growth here. It's getting pretty long. I will definitely try to reintroduce this plant back into the house. Um, probably do a, not a full repot, but add more soil to this because you can see how deep this plant is in the pot by how much um, space you have there. So I'll definitely add more soil and then um, try to find try to find it a great spot in the house. The last plant in the alleyway is another Schefflera or umbrella tree, and this plant was moved outside for um, suspected spider mites, and it's doing so well out here. It's gorgeous. It's put on lots of new growth and it's thriving i will definitely try to reincorporate this back into the house this year so that is it for the house plant alleyway let's go and find the other plants that are scattered around the garden so right here is one of my house plants and this plant is actually um a labeled as a caladium i think it's caladium lindii something like that and it's gorgeous I mean it's done so well outside it was struggling in my house and I think it's because I planted three different plants in this pot so it was drying out so fast my goal this fall is to move it into something bigger something that holds more moisture and um, it also had a suspected spider mite issue but I think that issue um, is gone now just based on looking at the foliage but I mean you never know I could flip this over and they'll and there could be spider mice right there I don't see anything but still I treat all my plants with um, a miticide before they come in the house
This is Big Bertha. And Big Bertha has almost been trashed many, many, many times. She, she seems to keep thrips constantly. So I think, you know, in my mind, in my experience, once a plant has a pest, it's not necessarily about eradicating that pest, but managing that pest, that pest issue. Because in my experience with this plant, you know, I have sprayed it, wiped it down, changed the soil, done all that kind of stuff. And then eventually, you know, thrips show back up. And I think it's more so just a, a pest management as opposed to truly being able to get rid of every single, you know, thrip or spider mite on your plant. I walked right by this plant and almost forgot about it. This is a Stromanthe Trio Star. Um, this plant got thrown out for being like just so fussy. And so it looks really good out here this this summer. So it I might give it another chance to come back in the house. We'll see. I mean, I, I'm not attached to this in any way. Um, I bought this plant with the intentions of not getting attached and just to see what happens. So, I mean, at the time where I'm cleaning plants up and bringing them in, if this one is looking like it's got some issues or it just like looks at me the wrong way, it's probably gonna go to the compost bin. But it's gorgeous. It's got some gorgeous foliage on it right now. So we'll see. Keep up the good work, buddy got an elephant here right here that's coming in and then this alocasia is coming in it's doing wonderful outside i pr i pretty much like cut every leaf off of it <laughs> early this year so it's doing really good um this one i had this one last year it's it's not growing as good as it could have this year because um i kind of just stuck it out here and neglected it but um I mean, it's alive. It looks okay. So it's definitely going to come in this fall. Right here is a crenum lily that I got as a gift. And it's not really a house plant, but I keep it as one. So it'll come in this fall. Um, I'll definitely um, pull it out of the pot refresh the soil, clean off the foliage, and bring it back inside. Right here is Alocasia Regal Shield. And this one will come inside too. I'll give it a new pot, fresh soil, fresh fertilizer. Um, it has not done very well because I've neglected it all summer long, but it's, it's hanging in there. Um, so I'll definitely keep it. I really love the Alocasia Regal Shields. Um, so I will give it another chance for sure. Right here is my variegated lemon tree, and this is not a typical house plant, but it will be brought in this uh, fall. Um, I will treat it just like a house plant over summer. I'm trying to match the care needs um, of this plant being a fruit tree. So very high light, um, maintaining moisture levels, maintaining you know the right fertilizer that it needs. And hopefully it'll fruit for me. It has not fruited for me yet. And this is year two with it. So right here is a root beer plant. And I've had this plant for um, close to a year now. And it's potted. Um, I, this plant stays with spider mites. Or not spider mites, but mealybugs. Mealybugs absolutely love this plant and all winter long I was fighting mealybugs on on this guy so um I it's going to be a big decision if I decide to keep him plus it grows so fast um it definitely needs a repot but I just love the way it looks I love the way the blooms are the leaves get nice and big and round they kind of remind me of lily pads they're so pretty so we'll see 
I've got some string of hearts down here. Elephant ears, syngonium, snake plants. These guys will get cleaned up and brought back inside. Um, they're out here just to see how they would do in this sort of outdoor condition as opposed to my home. They're doing okay. So they definitely will have a place inside. So we're in the screen and porch now. I've got so many things in here. Everything that's in here will likely come inside. Um, they are kind of protected from the outside elements. So there's not um, you know, tons of bugs that I would be expecting in the soil here. So these guys will probably just get a hose down of the foliage. Um, I will spray them with my insecticide and then bring them in the house. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments which plants you kicked out this summer from your house. And I'll see you in the next video.